Yo everyone, it is Directing Pete. Welcome back to another great tutorial. In this tutorial, we are gonna go over adding grass to our otherwise maybe flat terrain, just like this. So we're gonna be showing you in this video how to create grass patches, uh, but more importantly, the proper way of doing it because there are ways of putting in grass patches that are good for BR maps, and then there are ways that can actually cause a lot of problems where you may not be able to pick up a weapon. We definitely do not want that to happen. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you a couple really great techniques on getting some extra grass patches in your map and making it unique and your own. Guys, it takes just a moment to hit that subscribe button and that like button, and it helps me out so much. You can always change your mind later, but go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. In this example, I have two islands. On the left, I'm gonna be doing one technique, and on the right, I'm gonna be doing a completely different technique. What we're gonna first do here is go to the left island, and I'm gonna show you the technique that I've seen in many other YouTubers' videos, which is to use a certain grass piece to kind of start filling in the gap and making your map very unique. And it's this grass piece right over here. It's one of these, right? It's the blank ones, right? So you can use this piece, uh, I would say, if you don't have a game mode with guns, this is a very great piece to use. However, if you're doing a BR like I am, dropping this piece can cause some real issues. Now, Epic does seem to have somehow addressed some of the issues with this piece. I've noticed in this most recent update, it works sometimes, but not others, and let me explain why. So now, I have a grass piece on the left there and a grass piece on the right. One I made regular size, the other one I resized. So the rest of these are all going to be resized, but I did make one where I did not resize it at all. Let's now go put some weapons down and then test this out. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we have our weapons and we're gonna drop some of those weapons into each of the grass patches, all right? This one here is the one I did not resize. And so what you can see there is on that one I didn't resize, it looks like they fixed the bug. So if you do not resize this grass patch and it's on a flat surface and drops are on, it will work. Now I've noticed that in some occasions, it still doesn't work, but if you drop any of these on the bigger grass patches or any resized grass, you cannot pick them up. That's a big problem for BRs. I know that this works here for this smaller patch, but I, through a lot of testing not on camera, I will say that this has been hit or miss, where 80% of the time it works if you don't resize it, and 20% of the time it doesn't. So let me show you a much cleaner, safer way of doing this where it's guaranteed to work every time. So before we grab the next piece, just make sure build the prop is on origin edge, all right? So we wanna make sure we chose origin edge. And the reason for this is we're gonna be using a prop that normally is stuck to a grid. So we're gonna go ahead now and go into the terrain gallery, forest and grass, and then you can choose any of these. It doesn't matter, the floor will be there, it does not matter. So then go to grid snap off. And now guys, yeah, you're figuring it out already. I know you guys are smart. So we're literally just going to place this and make sure collision is on nothing. So collision, make sure is set to nothing. Now you're noticing I'm placing that grass. You can't even see the floor and you're getting the same effect, really. You are getting almost the exact same effect. Actually, you are getting the exact same effect. So. There's really no difference here. This is a great way to update your map. You can use the other versions of the grass as well in that gallery. And let me show you real quick how this works. So now we're gonna drop back into the map. All right, so I have my weapons and now what I'm gonna do is place them down in these patches. You see that X there for pickup, that means it's working. Um, and I'm gonna place a few more down, but guys, using these terrain pieces, it never occurred to me to do this. So I, when I thought of this the other day, I was in a map with Brandy Snap and we were just trying to figure this out and it just dawned on me, oh my gosh, this is how we do this. So guys, this is amazing. What's great about this is now you can add that detail to your BR maps safely. And you'll notice here, I can pick any of this up without any issue flawlessly. Guys, use this any way you will. There are more than just this piece here. Now this can stick out, right, as a problem. This could stick out of the side, so you have to be aware of that and it's breakable. But even if it's breakable, it's not the end of the world. It's just a grass patch. 
However, because you're using a full terrain piece, just make sure nothing's sticking out of the sides like that and you're good to go. Otherwise, if they're not sticking out, so you can't break it. So as long as it's not sticking out of the side, it's perfect. Here's just another great tip for you guys. I hope this helps in making your BRs more detailed, more beautiful, and better than ever. All right, guys, once again, hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.